Okay, to Callum McIntyre. Well, Callum, congratulations. That's another excellent away win for you. Yeah, really pleased with the result. Um, back to back away wins. Three goals Saturday, three goals tonight. A clean sheet on the road. Um, a lot's made of our record in the North East. Two wins for the last 15 games. And for the players to show the determination, the commitment for the club to show that that's not going to be the case for this group. Um, really, really pleased. Uh, with the results, I think that's the thing we've got to take home. Aspects of our performance to be pleased with, aspects of our performance that are really frustrating that we'll want to improve on. But for this group of players, for their commitment, work ethic, determination, everything that you could demand, uh, delighted for them and the travelling supporters. They started well in the opening 20 minutes and then they had a few shots on goal before we started to grow into the game. Yeah, look, any team with Glenn Taylor in the team is going to have chances at some point in the 90 minutes. I think he had some in the opening 90 seconds. When I've watched Spenny Moore, I think they've started really well in all the games I've seen, particularly at Scarborough on Saturday, where before Scarborough going front and then double the advantage, Spenny Moore can be out of sight. So we talked a lot about weather in the storm, trying to take the tempo out of the game in the opening 15, 20 minutes, and then getting in the ascendancy as the game went on. The slope is bigger here than I seem to remember it. Um, so when we've scored, potentially against the run of play, but from a well-worked set piece, um, I thought we looked the team on top. And when we followed up with a second goal, obviously we denied the third goal with the red card in the first half, gutted for Yuan. Um, but then in the second half, I thought we managed the game really, really well to make sure that he was uh, never in doubt. Yeah, the first goal from Harrison, a surprising goal from his point of view, because you usually associate him with headers, don't we? But that was a fantastic finish. You know what, he was brilliant tonight as well. Um, come back into the team after an injury, he's had some big performances and he's, he's in the goals over the last couple of games. Uh, I've told him I saw it, take a deflection, so we might not give him the first one. He's not very happy. Um, but look, second one, took really well as well, he's reacted first in the box. We want to be a threat in the penalty area. What that performance was over 90 minutes was some very good individual performances, stuff that we want to do better. And it is hard in a way playing against 10 men, but I think we saw the type of team that we want to be robust, resilient, difficult to break down, trying to not concede as many chances. Although I'd agree, I thought the opening 20 minutes they had too much ball around our eight in the yard box. But the main thing for us, we've got back to back away wins, and that is um, lots of it to be delighted about. Three wins from four, and nine from the table. Uh, the tables are relevant until everyone's played each other at least twice, so come the end of the season. <laughs> For us, it's about the points target where we fell short in block one, just short in block two, in block three. We are progressing the way we want to, so we would look at it and go seven points from the last three. Um, we've got to make sure now, Bradford at home, Banbury away, Leamington at home, we finish the block of six as well as we started it. So that's where, please don't mistake my pleasure. I am really, really pleased for the players because they're brilliant to work with. I can't stress enough they have everything you could demand about a, a group of players at a football club. Delighted for the supporters, tried to shake every single person's hand that came to watch us tonight because it's a hell of a long way to come over on a Tuesday night. And they've done that journey and, and braved it and been right with us the way they have all season. But my bit is to enjoy in isolation, but actually we've got to focus on the next game because this cannot be a little purple patch in the middle of the season. This one defeat in 15, in 90 minutes, has got to be something that we build on and build on and build on, not, oh well, October and November might be good. Whilst we ended in defeat, of course, against Oldham in the FA Cup, did that performance over the two legs give this squad relief? I thought we were building to that performance over a period of time. If you look at the first five games, losing three in the opening five was painful, really difficult, really challenging, both for individuals, for the group, uh, for all of us involved. But you could see the challenges that we had early on in the season. I think you can still see them now. We're nowhere near the finished article about what I want us to be. Over a, a one game, two, uh, sorry, one season, two season period, we want to improve. And I know where we can get to. Um, so belief, yeah, maybe it helps. But I think that's been building and building and building. You look at the, the Kettering game, that type of performance and result have been coming. But let's have it right, we've won back-to-back -back away games. Don't care where we are on the table. We've got to enjoy it for a little bit because it's something worth enjoying. But then after that, we've got to move on and make sure that we back this up at Brad, uh, in the home game against Bradford on Saturday. So my delight will be reserved for everyone that's stuck with us supporters, but especially the players because they have been absolutely brilliant. Even when they haven't played particularly well in games, their commitment to try and get something for the team, for the group, for the football club, for where we want to be, so, so pleased. But you asked the question about belief. Um, they're worth believing in, aren't they? And I think you can see that. Let's do everything we can to make sure that this is the start of something and we keep building, not hey, it's been a nice 10 days. I'm going to end this interview tonight by talking about tomorrow's game, South Shields for the youth team in the app for youth, good game for you. Massively important. Look, if there's one thing that this this role, and it's been so exciting and it's been so challenging, um, but rewarding in terms of working the first team, if there's one bit I'm a little bit gutted about inside, it's not getting to work with this year's crop of youth players, because 
We had a lot of them last year as youngsters. There is no one better than Mike Orcock to have stepped into that role and he's been unbelievable. You see the way he's thrown himself into the football club and he's been a brilliant ambassador for what we want to be and what we want to do. And you've seen that, anyone that's got to know him knows that. But they're a brilliant group of players, very talented, that have had to play, what is it, four rounds, five games in terms of uh, trying to get through. They've had the, the replayed game, loads of own fixtures, they've had injuries. Um, I'll be there tomorrow supporting them. It will become the most important thing. Tomorrow is all about the young lads. First team can enjoy tonight. Tomorrow, whether it's the club stuff on social media, everything needs to about our youth team are in the first round proper at the FA Youth Club. Get down there and support them. Uh, the staff will be, the players will be. Let's hope to see a real good following. The way that look, our fans are brilliant, I can't, can't appreciate them enough. But let's make sure they're right behind a fantastic group of young players. And I know they'll do the club proud because they, they've, um, they've never fallen short on that count. Congratulations, Brilliant, thank you.